All right, everyone. Today I'm going to be reviewing this New Holland Forge Harvesting Set. Now, this might be a little bit longer of a video because there's kind of a lot to unpack here, a lot going on. I want to give each piece the uh, proper review that it deserves because this is a really good set by Ertl. I'm really impressed. A lot of times when you get a set, they kind of just throw a bunch of junk together and send it on its way, but there's a lot of new tooling and new stuff into this set that we haven't seen before. And so we'll kind of get into that and go over it. So first, I'll just kind of start with the tractor. It's nothing too crazy here. Now this is the newer style tractor and I'm glad uh, Earl decided to put that in here. Um, the newer style New Holland. And it has, as you can see here, the newer style GPS, newer style decal. I think they call this the um, PML Intelligence or something like that. Can't remember now, but it is a T8.380 Genesis. So pretty big horsepower tractor. Um, does have singles wide singles slow moving decal triangle the newer cab design with the bigger door lights around the cab new cab roof um, we've gotten a few of these newer style new holland t8s now and uh, i really like them they're a cool cool upgrade i especially like the cab being a lot better a um, lot bigger, well it's not bigger, but bigger door, a uh, big clear window versus like here's an old style cab. You can kind of see the, the door would be right here in that section. But anyways, I like the new roof. I just think it has a cool design as well as the GPS. So that is that. Um, also, I really do like these front tires. I've been putting them on New Hollands for a while, but... I really do like that. Here is a forage wagon. We haven't had forage wagons in a while until recently. They came out with the John Deere 7R set with two John Deere forage wagons. We did a review on that. It's on our channel. I'm sure you could find it if you search in YouTube for some uh, 164 forage wagons. I'm sure a video would pop up. But this is the same exact casting. They also made these... A quite a ways while back. Um, I don't know if they've ever made just a straight blue one. I'm not the biggest fan of just the straight blue, but uh, it's better than nothing. You can see there, underside of it. And if you were to get more than one, you can hook them together. Let me grab a John Deere one and show you. So you could just hook these right in there. Then you'd got two of them. Now one thing you'll notice on the deer one, they did come with the cover. This did not come with the cover. The covers off of the deer one, or um, if you have any of the older ones, will just slide right on. Um, so, you know, obviously this looks super goofy, but if you did have a gray or another color top off of an older one, you could put it on there. It would work. Uh, inside of this, got your floor that would move to help unload it. You got your side unload here. Um, these three things do spin freely. Well, the bottom one's a little stiff on our toy, but it'll spin. And these two spin pretty good. But it is tandem axle in the rear, which I really like. These are big forage wagons. It's pretty cool. And here's what I'm most excited about is the forage harvester. Now, the harvester itself, we first got a glimpse of this tooling with the 2019 Fall Farm Show. Um, they gave us this really cool FR920, same model, FR920. Um, Farm Show one does have duals. This one's got a little bit bigger tires, but just singles. 
A little less detail as you can see, no handrails, no flashers, no anything. If you want to see more on this, we did a review on it. Check it out. But what they did do is they did give us a steering wheel rear axle on this and the tires are so big on the back that it can't really even steer but it's got all the components in there and it should steer but the tires are just so big but anyways that's something if you tire swapped it it might steer better but you do have a hitch so your forge wagon can just hook straight behind your forge harvester if you wanted to do that so that is a cool option there. They gave us this on the back, kind of reminds me of like a European looking tractors and combines. But harvester, big harvester, um, got the GPS and everything. They did paint the cab roof and that is different. Like this one's not painted on the farm show, but this one is. So this is actually kind of nicer on the roof because they painted it looks more realistic but anyways so we've got that big tires and everything and it is bigger than the tires on this old fr850 new holland forge harvester so you can see the tires are even bigger than what it's on that one now the, they did give us a hay pickup head and this is actually a lot more detailed than the ones we had previously. This is one off of the farm show one. You'll notice the new one is smaller by quite a bit, but you can just look at the detail on that new one. Now they could have painted the screws black and that would have made it look way better, but look at the detail up here. A lot more detail there. They put these things that actually turn on the front. A lot more detail with the wheel. The wheel looks way more realistic up here. But you can see some details cast into the plastic that's different. So they did a good job on this. Um, like I said, it is smaller, but and you're picking up a windrow, so it's only going to be so much anyways. But I really like it. I think they gave a lot of detail. It looks really good. Now the most exciting part of this whole set to me is going to be this header. So if you look, first of all, it's a folding header. Now, we have had a folding header in the past on this forge harvester. You can see the style folding header is that. But this is the one where you have to kind of stay down your row. Where these head is, you can go any direction. On the Farm Show Edition, we did get that style of head, but it does not fold. But not only is this a folding header, the other thing that makes this header really cool is it's actually a 12 row forage head instead of 10. So as you can see, this thing is a beast. You get two rows per each of these cylinders, or six of them. You can see this one, you'd have eight. Let's get a side by side. You can see it's got two more rows of, oh, so big it's hard to fit it in the screen. Two more rows of cutting than either of these other ones would. So that is pretty cool, especially to get a folding head. Not only a folding head, but a head that is way lo larger, cutting two more rows. You know, that's a huge head. Um, for a forage harvester cutting 12 rows at a time it obviously speaks to how big the engine and these things are to be able to handle that much coming through it at one time but then when you can get 12 rows to fold up to skinnier than the machine and fit down the road so you don't have to waste time like hooking and unhooking the header um, you can just move on to the next field that's really nice that's a uh, that could save a lot of time and efficiency for a farm so this is a really cool header i kind of want to buy another set just to get this header out of it and run that header on this have two of them if we ever had a display set up with these two forge harvesters have the header on both of them cutting 12 rows but it's it's really cool and 
You can see they did good detail here. They painted that black more detail than even the farm show header. Um, these holes here, as you can see, fit right into that. And so it snaps in, holds it in place, and it folds up. Bottom's just black, nothing real fancy going on there. They could have painted those black and it looked way better, but overall, that's just really cool head. Um, I wasn't expecting that, so whenever we saw it, we had to get it because that is, you know, super cool. Glad Ertl did that. Um, the only way that I'm aware of getting that head is to buy this set. So if you're into forage harvesters, I think that's got to be um, up there on the list of things that you'd want to have in your collection. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can check out our channel for more content. We've got other videos on New Holland Forge Harvesters, other videos on mobile farm toys. So you can go check all that out. And please subscribe to our channel. We try to put out a couple videos a week um, at the minimum and hopefully give you some information on stuff that you might want to buy or whether you don't want to buy it if it's um, based on what, what you see here. So anyways, have a good night, everybody.